Hi, so quite a few people have been asking about this magnetic assist idea. Is it actually any good? Does it work? Is there a point to it? Now, actually, it's really a fair question. So I made this. It's really an electromagnet. I mean, it's a bolt with a coil on it. Obviously, it doesn't do anything until I put some power on there. And when I put some power on there, we get ourselves an electromagnet. So let's do exactly that. And we still can't pick up that block of steel there because although I can feel it, it's just not strong enough. Okay, what about some actual magnets? So I've got some ceramic magnets here. They're 20 centimetres by half a centimetre. If I put them on there, then that magnetism has been carried through to there and not a chance. So the electromagnet can't do it. The magnet, ceramic magnets by themselves can't do it. But if I turn that on, then... There we go. No problem at all picking it up once I put power into that electromagnet. If I turn the power off... Of course it drops. Okay, let's have a close-up on how this was made and how it works. Okay, so this is nothing more than a bolt there that I sawed off, a couple of washers on, wrapped a coil on it and stuck a couple of magnets on it. That's all that actually is. Now, what happens here, obviously, is this is north-facing. The north facing comes up here, tries to get back down there, so that we get our complete bar magnet, and we get a very weak north-facing field right there. This, obviously, is a coil, and when I turn that on, depending on the direction of the current, we can either make this north or this south. Now, if we put a south here against a north here, the flux from here can't get very far, so it doesn't, and we turn it off. If we put north, south, south, north, then we get nothing. If we've got north, sorry, south, north, south, north, then we get a very much stronger magnet. So that's what we're doing when we do this. Now, I've got this arranged as a H bridge. And there's bridge. the H bridge arrangement there. So when I put power onto that, then when that's not closed, it's making the magnetic field in the core one direction, so we get absolutely no attraction at all. And then if I swap it, it swaps the field in the other direction, and it becomes a very strong electromagnet. So we can turn the magnetism off completely, or we can turn it on completely. That can be done just with an electromagnet, but as we've seen, this increases the force of the electromagnet dramatically, and that's the point of them. Anyway, that's how to make a, a magnetic assist solenoid. I think that's kind of cool, to be honest. Now, this is very closely related to um, magnetic chucks. So if you want to look at the ideas that I'm using here, have a look at magnetic chucks, and that'll work for you. Ah, cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.